Welcome back, everybody. It is Friday. It is hot. I am tired. But uh, I like to try to maintain some sort of sense of regularity. So uh, on Friday, I do the update. Today's Friday, the 3rd of June. And uh, this is the weekly update, however long it turns out to be. First things first, you might notice there's nothing right here, if you remember this location, because uh, me and the old Troy Bill Shredder, uh, we, sh we shredded it all. It was about seven hours spread over three days. Uh, I was as dirty as a person can be, but uh, I am slowly reclaiming territory. It is just a vast expanse of ant-filled dirt now. I've been slowly chipping away here under the pepper tree. Uh, I think the intention now, like uh, this is cut back right here because I was giving myself enough room to sort of turn the lawn tractor around, but I think we're past that point now. So I think I'm just gonna fill it out to this line here. Uh, I still have some material pre-staged to move over, I should have. He says uh, he's gonna bring me a container of dirt because I said I needed dirt. I really need to fill in all the gaps and crevasses. But uh, coming across here, uh, I did move a fair amount in the past week. So while it is nowhere resembling complete, uh, you can see a little right down there in the center frame, you can see some daylight. That is the backside of where the big blocks are. So I'm getting it cut through to where there'll be a pass through. I don't know how easy it'll be to drive through there because you won't be able to see much, but um, I I'm getting that back section filled and as is my nature to build things backwards, uh, it's really hard uh, to get stuff over there because it's inaccessible. So I have to bring it in here one wheel barrel at a time and just throw it. For I guess what would be reasons, I, uh, I thinned out the tree a little here around Railroad Bridge number three and actually cleared the passage to where you can drive under the bridge now. So if you should decide to climb up through this end of Leviathan, you can now take a little detour under the bridge, which will join in to that in progress section over there on the other side. Uh, I feel like it's probably gonna be in progress for a while. I think Leviathan is actually technically still in progress but uh, it's starting to set in. It's been there long enough that it's, I mean, as long as the squirrels stop digging holes out and knocking rocks on the ground, it, it, it's settling in pretty well. Coming off the end of Leviathan, and in an attempt to maintain the little arc here, uh, I'm expanding Oblivion out with some more vertical stuff. Uh, I've only gotten to about there. Uh, this all needs filled out to there, but uh, I just, I, I didn't have the gas left after the last shred fest. So we've got that nice big vertical piece there, which uh, is potentially impassable. Uh, we will see, but uh, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying, as it hasn't set in yet, but this section right here, that, that's a really fun one. Uh, sometimes I'm, 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 overly pleased with myself when I just haphazardly lay something out and it works well. If you endured any or all of Tire Test Fest 22, uh, I thank you and I'd also like to point out, I mean I know, I feel like I complain about this tree a lot, but uh, I had cleaned almost all of this up. Like I had cleaned this section out prior to filming and I mean that's just what's there. During filming, I collected this and a bit more. So uh, it continues to drop two flowers for every one that it produces. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna wheel a little bit. I, uh, I downloaded one of those randomizer apps. Uh, I don't think it's super great. Uh, but it got the job done and it, uh, it helped me pick a rig to come out here and drive for the day. And I think it's a pretty good pick because, uh, 
Uh, the Tranquish hasn't been out on the rocks in a while. So let's do a little of that. And then, you know, wrap this up. I'm sure probably something I should have noticed last time I wheeled this, but the track was just pulling moderately hard to the right. And, there, and doesn't have full steer angle to the left. I, I don't know, the horn slipped, something. But we're going slow enough. Whoa. I don't know how much it'll matter. tires this is a this is an excellent section right here it's it's really challenging because there's a there's a little as of yet unfilled notch along the side of that vertical slab and anything that falls in there is just is just there uh, the thing that I find the course is is truly missing. I don't know, I don't know call, whether to call it amplitude or magnitude, like a little diamond shaped shadow. Let's see if I can drive up to the right. Uh, that's, I think, that's the second highest point on the course, right, right there, right, right behind his nose. Because when you start with flat ground, uh, achieving altitude is is not easy or straightforward. I mean, I actually pause pause right there, Trinkley. Uh, I I actually think right there on the blocks, the blocks might be higher, a little bit higher, but that's not an obstacle. That's a platform that I'm supposed to build something on, and you know, hopefully we'll get to that. But uh, I would say this is the second highest point, the highest. Oof. Uh, the highest point being that rock uh, right there, which I mean is is sort of climbable. I uh, I really put it up there because I wanted I wanted the highest point to be right there. Now also the the entry line there, you can see it kind of pockets in to this as this was you know built in multiple sections, stuff over stuff over stuff. So I want to build the entry, the opening to this. I want to build out. That was a good bounce. And uh, hopefully that will allow me to, like, I don't want to, I don't want to kill Daphne's little line because it's so frustratingly difficult. But uh, I, I do want to build the base of that out. If just to add some stuff like, like what I've done here, where I dig down and sink them into the ground so that I don't have that annoying transitional area. This has the annoying transition basically all the way around it. And transitioning from dirt to rock uh, for some tires and some rigs is difficult. Oh, get down. Get down. I, uh, I had the, I think I mentioned the in la in either in last week's update or something in the interim, I mentioned that the squirrels ate all the paper and plastic outside off the outside of the last surviving bag of mortar mix. Now, uh, unbeknownst to me, like if if a bag of concrete, if a bag of quickcrete gets wet, uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, it just turns into rocks. Uh, the outer skin of the mortar mix was 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 pretty firm so i was like oh it's ruined so i basically just dumped it out onto the ground right over here you can see all the like kind of white splotchiness uh only to find out that it basically just skins over on the top and the rest of it was just fine uh but it was pretty much too late at that time as it was highly polluted so i i just used it to kind of tamp into the cracks here i haven't i haven't really cleaned it up much of what you see there is loose and continues to get knocked out but uh it did really settle this corner in and you know better than using dirt because uh this section right here right about here this was just undrivable because it was so loose and it was just full of gaps and now you can just uh 
kind of power up it. And uh, Tranquish, you know, landmine equipped, uh, makes it look fairly easy. Makes all this look fairly easy, really. So hopefully the focus in the oncoming week will be to flesh this area out. Uh, it doesn't look like a waterfall anymore, so I can't call it a waterfall. Uh, and I called this the saddle, but uh, I'm going to continue to build it up. So it really, again, sort of unnamed. And the goal is to, to finish out that lead edge of oblivion, to kind of match this. If you can see the arc that runs right along here, you can see it needs filled right there. So I want to fill that out, and then hopefully that will allow me to bring the, the top edge here out more. And I want this section smoother than the, the ladders, but steeper. So that's the, that's the goal. Uh, he tells me that he has some dirt to bring, uh, as well as asphalt, and, and there's some containers of concrete that should be coming in during the week. So I should have no shortage of materials. I'm, I'm really, more than anything, I'm hoping for the dirt because I really need dirt. Never thought I would run out of dirt. Little bump. There we go. Yeah, landmines bump really well. The CG on Tranquish is not the lowest. But uh, what he has is if not the lowest wheel speed, potentially the lowest wheel speed. For anyone new out there who has not witnessed Tranquish before, see. Vanquish VS410 chassis uh, paired to TRX4 locker axles. Uh, and it has an Amazon, the three gear dig gearbox that has the clone of the Vanquish dig on it. So that gearbox combined with these axles combined with, I think it's geared somewhere around, oh, it's been so long since I've looked, but I want to say 2087, something like that in the gearing. Uh, the final gear reduction on this rig is 94.5 to one. So like, you can tip into the throttle and get like about that much movement. And uh, he went through a fairly substantial tire test to find out what worked the best. And uh, in the end of that one, it came down to tusks versus landmines. And for some reason, just the way this rig is laid out, like those two tires were remarkably close in their performance. Uh, the landmines were just more consistent on this rig. They, I don't know what tense of the word to use. They, they dug better. They dig better. Uh, they, they perform better when dig is engaged. Like right here, if I want to dig the front end around, the landmines are particularly adept. Like, oh, look how little steering angle I've got that way. And then look at that way. Uh, I, I, I have done something to the front end of this, which now uh, it, I guess it'll go on the whiteboard because I didn't remember anything being wrong with the front end. So he's still pulling a strut, like, like it will pivot on the dig better than most any other tire. Well, and on this rig, it will pivot on the dig better than any other tire. Landline is a great tire, and of all the tires I have, short of, say, you know, Boom Racing Hustlers, they all have at least some good quality. The, the, the Landmine is, in my mind, an A-grade tire, uh, because it works well on most anything you put it on. Uh, it's just that on some rigs, it's going to work better. It, it's not even just about the what I'm now calling the three-piece combo, which is the tire, the foam, and the wheel, right? Uh, it's, there's an intangible. There's a, there's a fourth dimension there that is just something that works. And 
See, that, that, that drag brake is almost, like, that's okay. That's probably actually better than a full blast electric anchor. But uh, I tend to prefer the electric anchor. I don't know. That, what, 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 what Tranquish does with his slide is probably more consistent and would actually result in holding a line better because there's, there's nothing abrupt. When you come off throttle, he er, settles down nice. So, uh, shout out to the, oh yeah, see, so good on the dig. Nope. Pull it over. Nope. Pull it over more. Should. That, that's a lot, that, that's expecting a lot of grip from one tire. And, uh, we are in a position. All four. Oh, no, it's going to pop. Oop. Hey! That's all that matters. Just land on your wheels. That's all that matters. These are great tires. This is a great rig. It's a pretty good day. It's just good to sit down, you know? Oh, I feel like I've been doing too much standing. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Hey, a little, uh, a little drop there. But as per usual, uh, I get to wheeling, I get to rambling. I could go all day. Let's keep this one, as, as I have uploaded nothing in the previous week that had any amount of brevity to it. Uh, Let's keep this one oh, a little brief, at least. We'll close it out over here in Drybone Valley, where I can put the camera in the shade, because uh, I get attuned to, you know. It is, uh, let's see what the thermometer says. It's only 88 in the shade right now, so out in the sun, you know. Probably, probably trip right out about the triple digit mark. Temperature on the ground, probably in that 138, 140 area. I forget that uh, electronics, I don't care for that. So thank everybody for watching. Thanks for sticking through the week. Double thanks if you, uh, if you uh, tuned in for the entire test fest saga there were some highs and lows there uh, the upcoming week is the the week of as i mentioned last week the graduation and then the party is a week from tomorrow so uh i will try to steal as many moments to get work done out here as possible but i got real stuff to work on you know like it or not and uh, definitely going on the whiteboard. <laughs> yes, I don't know what happened to the steering. Anyhow, uh, yeah, um, leave a comment below. Uh, drop a like. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I generally hope to provide something a little more varied content-wise. Uh, I'm. I was genuinely hoping uh, when I ordered. Daphne's replacement tires from Horizon. I have been very lucky as of recent, and Horizon ships from wherever they are here in Southern California. Uh, and there was stuff like when I uh, ordered the body that's on Rusty, uh, it was one of those where it's like, uh, your delivery estimate is like June 12th. And I was like, that's fine. I don't even need it. And uh, I, I put the order in, and it showed up at the house like 9 o'clock the following morning. So I was hoping that that lightning would re-strike when it came to the deep woods. Uh, it did not. They shipped out of Cham Champagne, Champlain, Champagne. Anyway, uh, Illinois, and uh, through Smart Post, no less. So they won't even be here until next week. 
I got the wheels in one day and the, uh, the tires will end up taking eight days. No fault of Horizon. The FedEx Smart Post is the slowest way to get someone a product short of walking it there yourself. So, uh, I mean, if any, you know, let's, let's crowd, let's crowdsource this. Uh, if anybody, is there anything anybody wants to see? Um, is there any rig that you haven't seen wheeled in a while? Uh, I, a confessional here, we'll do the Friday confessional. Uh, I, I sort of stopped doing six gates, which I'm sure people might have noticed, because a six gate takes a day to do. Like, there's the principal photography, there's the, the follow-up stuff, there's the editing, there's all that. To get a 20 minute long six gate, the six gate falls into that like, it's heavy into that 10 to one area. For every one minute of finished video, there's 10 minutes of, of work. So we're talking four to five hours to, to produce a 20 minute video. And I don't know if any of them even hit 500 views. So uh, there just wasn't the viewership there like my most viewed video is the Ecto versus SCX 10.3 versus Defender that I did when they were all still bone stock. Like none of those vehicles even resemble themselves. And followed right behind that one is uh, Daphne versus Lil Yellow when they were, I mean, they don't even, they don't, they're not even the same vehicles anymore. So. I, I made a uh, I, I made a, a redux, a part two of Daphne versus Lil Yella, and nobody watches it. So uh, I had thought about doing Daphne versus Lil Yella three because they don't even resemble what they were in part two. But uh, I don't know. I'll probably make it just because I want to see it. You know. You. you oh. You, you do like to think that uh, people are watching. And I, I think in most instances, people are watching. And I should be I should be happy with 500 views, right? But it's, it's drug-like. Like, when you get 500 views on something, you're like, Oh, if only I could get 1,000. I, uh, I have been really good about not comparing myself to other channels. Because I am not other channels. I am my channel. So I am what I am, and I'm just gonna stick to this kind of stuff. Uh, I like making stuff, I like building course, I like wheeling rigs, and I thank you all for joining me for all of those endeavors. Uh, yeah, I, I did it again. Like I said, I was wrapping it up, and that was probably like, I don't know, that was several minutes ago. So, thanks again. Uh, do all the things that I usually ask. If you haven't, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, give me an idea for some upcoming videos. That way I can rest part of my lizard brain. And uh, as always, have a good weekend, everybody.